I don't know about you, but I've noticed design tools are innovating super quick. Designers are learning more about code and developers are learning more about design. But there is still a clear line of separation when it comes to building and maintaining the design language for a design system, a web application, and also a website. A designer does the designs and then the developer does the actual implementation. But then this causes a pretty big issue that I'm sure you faced and it sounds like this. You spend months designing all the components for the web app or website. You then prepare the designs and you hand them over to the developer. A couple of days go by and the developer tells you it's all done and asks you to leave any feedback that you might have. You quickly realize your entire life's work has been absolutely butchered. You want to fix this, but now the company has moved on and has other priorities and other initiatives. And now you're just simply left weeping to yourself in the corner. Now, the problem here is that most of the updates that you needed to make were quite minor. And if only you could have jumped in to make those tweaks yourself, it would all be fixed. So over the weekend, I had to play around with this new app called Codux. And I realized they're solving the next wave of innovation for collaboration between designers and also developers. So in a nutshell, this app allows designers to actually tweak the work of the developers without touching the code. So let's dive in and see how it all works. All right, as you can see, we have codux.com opened over here. And in the logo, you will see that it is currently in beta which is a great thing because that means it's going to be free for you to use right now. So if you want to follow along, you can download the Codux application. Once you've downloaded the application, you can create an account. And once that has been done, you will land into a dashboard that looks like this. Now on the left-hand side, you can see that you can create a new project. You can open up a local project. You can also clone a Git repo or repository, and you have access to all your projects that you're part of over here. So if we select new project, you can see that Codux has already created a few different starting points. And here, let's just imagine that we are going to be working on an e-commerce store. So we're going to be designing and also building and managing all the components for an online store for one of our clients. So you can click on e-commerce starter. You can type in the project. So maybe Mizco's merchandise, because I'm going to create a store for all my merch. And you can save it to any uh, folder on your desktop. So because I've already created the project, I'm just going to close out of it, but you can hit create. And once you have opened up the project itself, you'll see an interface like this. In the top, you can see that we are currently in Mizco's merchandise project. We are currently on the main branch. Now we also on the right hand side have some features such as committing our changes. Currently I have not made any changes to any of the components as a designer, so we can't commit. I can also sync and publish this project. So once all the changes have been made, I can commit them to the branch. I can also sync and publish all the changes and the project itself. We can also share. And we also have some profile settings in the top right corner. On the left-hand side, we have a side menu, which gives us access to our boards. And our boards will contain all the different components that the developer has developed. As you can see, we've designed all these components for our online store. And then a developer has also built them individually so we can reuse these across our website and we have access to them all here header footer we also have product details page products page and you can see all these products have been created over in the bottom left corner we have access to all the files so in our misco's merchandise folder we actually have a bunch of files that are actually required for this project to be a working website pretty much but this isn't actually a working website just yet. This, these are just the files in our local folder. In the bottom left corner, we also have access to our Git and also scripts. So as a designer, let's just focus on the design use case. Let's say on these product cards, we want to make a few different changes. So I'm gonna open up our products page and then I'm gonna click on products gallery page. And my goal here is to actually go ahead and maybe reduce the font size because I feel like they're quite large. And I also want to add a border around this card and maybe curve the corners a little bit, mainly because the developer totally ignored those design decisions and he's submitted this over to for review. So instead of having to go into Figma and make those changes, then ask the developer to do it again, we can actually go ahead and double click onto one of the cards so I can make sure that the card is selected. So just making sure that 
we are in the products page and I can make sure that I have selected this component over here, which let me just make it larger. We have selected the product card. On the right hand side, you can see that very familiar and very similar to other design tools. You have all your styles over here. But the thing here is any changes that we make and we commit, it means that the developer can approve those changes and they will be amended to the live code base. Once again, you have access to all your different layers and groups. On the right-hand side, you have access to all your styles. So let's say we actually want to go ahead and add a border. So under border, change the number to one pixel and clicking on the color, I actually want to use the charcoal that's been set in the design system. And then I also want to give the corners maybe an eight pixel border radius. And you can see very quickly, we've added a nice Neo Brutalism style card. We also want to round the corners of the image as well. So they don't span outside of the rounded corners. So selecting the product card, I can double click onto the image and make sure that the image is selected. We can go down to corners and also round them to eight pixels. And I can select the dev root. I can actually click on in the breadcrumbs products page, zoom out, go back to the initial previous view, and it's looking pretty good. Now, if we also want to make the font size for this text, double click and select the text itself. Sometimes selecting the actual text won't give you the styles because we actually have to select the P tag, which is the paragraph tag. And under selectors, we actually want to click on price and that will give us access to all the styles. So this way we can actually go ahead and take a look at the font size. We might want to change it from 24 to maybe 18 pixels. That looks a little bit better. Maybe it could be 20 pixels. That looks pretty good. I think it was a little bit too large before. Now, one quick thing to note is that over on the right hand side under your selectors and the three dots, you can click on view code and this will actually give you access to the raw CSS for this project and you can actually make the amendments over here as well. So Codux is not just a no code tool. You can also dive into the code itself to make these changes or these amendments. And if I want, I can select products gallery page board. That takes me back to the previous view. And now this looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit more welcoming. Rounded corners feel a little bit more approachable. The font sizes are, are better. And also the rounded corners on the image just makes this feel a little bit more fun. So as you can see in the top right corner, we have commit three, which means that we have three changes in this component that have not been technically saved just yet. So they are reflected on our view, but if we want everyone else to get access to these changes that are part of this project, we hit commit and we can say updated card designs. We can commit that. And as you can see, changes committed locally, remember to push when you want to share. So we need to actually go ahead and sync this. And if we have connected this application for Codux to the actual repo that the developers are working on, then they will get notified that these changes have been made. Someone will approve your changes and all your changes will then be loaded into the live production website. So as you can see very quickly, you are starting to move out from just the design tool and you are actually making live changes to the components that have been built by developers without touching a line of code. Another awesome thing in Codux is that we can actually turn this and leverage a headless CMS like Wix CMS to actually bring live data, real data into this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on home really quickly, just so we are back on the original view. I'm going to go back over to Chrome and I'm gonna open up the Wix headless. So here we can actually go ahead, as they say, power any tech stack with proven business solutions, get started with Wix headless. So from here, we can go over to the right hand side. I'm creating this project for, I can maybe just select personal and hit continue. I am primarily using this as a, I'm not a developer, I'm probably just a designer, continue. And we are currently working on an e-commerce store. So this will give us the ability to connect any storefront, which is the current project that we have on our desktop to complete a checkout experience. So this will include all the APIs for the cart, the products, the catalog, the orders, and pretty much everything that is required to build an online store. So hit continue, and we might call this Mizco's merch. We can go get started. All right, so from here, we need to go ahead in the bottom. We have to select headless settings, and 
once you click that, this will allow us to create an OAuth uh, apps. So clicking create OAuth app, we can call this Misco Merch OAuth, just like that. Create the application and this will give us an actual key to use. We can then copy this ID, so the client ID, head over to our project, so in Codex. We can then, in the bottom left corner, go to our files. We can minimize all the folders, open up the .env .environment, replace this client ID, paste that new ID down, and we can also commit this change. So updated client ID, commit. And then what we can do is head back into Chrome, and now I can go to store products, head over to our products, we pretty much just connected this Wix Studio e-commerce website very quickly to our project that's currently on our desktop with that very simple client ID. So over here, we can go ahead and go new product. We can maybe add a digital file and let's just call this, we are going to put Mizco for sale. And the name is going to be Mizco. And let's just say we want to add a very quick image. We're going to go ahead and upload this from our very own desktop. Grab a very quick photo of myself pop this down. There we go. Looking pretty good. Add to page. And that's pretty much it. Let's just give this a price of a dollar. Yep. You can grab me for a dollar. Hit save. Oops. Yes. Actually, we need to go ahead and upload a file because we are putting a digital product up for sale. So let's just go ahead and just put that image down so people can download the image. Perfect. So that's been uploaded. All right, so let me go ahead and just select the image, add that to the product itself and hit save. All right, so as you can see, we have gone ahead and added a product to our e-commerce store. Now, if I go over back into Codux and head over to the project itself, I can go into the products gallery component that's been selected. So under home, under the actual product page and open up the products gallery page, have that selected, hit refresh, you can see that if we scroll all the way down, there will be a beautiful Mizco for a dollar for sale. As you can see, very quickly as a designer, you are starting to bridge that gap between yourself and the development world. Not only are you making updates to live and real components that the developers have made and really streamlining that process from constantly going back and forth, refining things, you can actually go into the code base and with a no code tool, actually making changes to these components in real time and also be able to commit and publish these changes with real data all within one app. So here are my final thoughts. In the coming few years, the need for designers and also developers to collaborate intensively is simply going to increase. More of the front end responsibilities will be pushed over to the designer. So then developers actually have more time to focus on the intensive logic and also on the back end side of things. Now, if you are interested in checking out Codux, it is in beta and it's also for free right now. So feel free to check the link in the description. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to gently smash that like button, subscribe for the Dahad fans, and if you want to continue learning, you should definitely check out this video.